Hey guys, my name is Scott and I wanted to show you um, kind of a warm-up exercise that you can use and this will really get your picking going too if you want to work on your alternate picking. And basically it's four notes per string and uh, I've used this for a long time and I started with an upstroke. Usually when I do an even number of notes on a string, um, not always but a lot of the time I start with an upstroke. It just kind of works out a little better for me that way. So I'm going to show this to you, and it's just uh, just these notes, one, two, three, four. So four notes, and then we play the same here, same on the next string, next string, next string, next string, and then we go up a fret and work our way back down. And then we go to the next fret and work our way up. And um, th that'll really improve your picking um, in a short amount of time. Practice that for a while, and uh, it shouldn't take long, you know, if you're struggling with the alternate picking. And it's a good warm-up exercise to get your fingers going. And um, I'll, I'll show you another one that, that's really useful. Um, we can start like on the, on the fourth fret here, and we're going to do a downstroke. Uh, fifth fret, upstroke. Seventh fret, downstroke. Fourth fret on the G string, upstroke. And then back down stroke on the seventh of the D. And upstroke. And then downstroke. And we start all over again from there. So this is what that one sounds like. And, um, you know, it's important to keep your control and to stay loose at the same time. You want to stay loose to get, uh, to get speed out of that. And that shouldn't take you too long either. Believe it or not, um, I think I, when I first learned that a long time ago, I learned that from someone a um, uh, long time ago, and um, it didn't take me all that long to get it. And that was kind of when I was starting out with the alternate picking. So that's a great exercise to, to get going. And one more that, um, that I do too, um, you know, to get your um, to get your picking going on, you know, across the strings, um, I'll I'll just take like the first fret of the low E, then the second fret of the A, then the third fret of the D, and then the fourth fret of the G. So like this, and then I'll reverse it to the first fret of the G, second fret on the D, third fret on the A fourth fret on the E and then I'll ascend that so I'll go like this and actually you know I'm playing a little different than I showed you um, I'm just kind of remembering how I do that now so It's been a while since I've done that one, but that, that'll really get your um, alternate across the strings going. Uh, so that's a pretty good exercise for that. So thanks guys for stopping by. I hope some of this stuff helps you and uh, feel free to ask any questions and um, please subscribe to my channel. It'd be a huge help. I'm going to make a lot more videos and um, you know, uh, I wish you guys all the best. So uh, take care and talk to you soon.